I submit to the council for judging that John Rambo is officially the most deadly character when given enough prep time. What's up guys, my name's Glassfoot and this is a critical review of Rambo Last Blood, the fifth and final installment of the Rambo franchise. I think. Pretty sure that this is the end. I very much hope that it is. Rambo Less Blood follows Rambo on his final adventure. This time it's personal. The whole reason that he does his Rambo thing in this one is uh, someone very close to him is hurt in a very significant way and uh, revenge. But that's all I'm getting into for spoilers. Moving on. This film is very fun. It is very gory and violent and if that's all you want, you're gonna get that. Uh, the only problem is that's only about the last third of the movie. It's kind of slow and draggy towards the beginning. Basically the whole reason that the person close to John gets into the situation that they do is personal reasons but they end up going, they go to Mexico, get in a lot of trouble, Rambo goes to save them, things happen, they get hurt way worse than they were before, and Rambo gets pissed. Short version, as little spoilery as I can. It's probably as close to no spoilers as we're gonna get, because uh, to adequately describe the plot, I had to have the spoilers. Back on topic. All the acting is really good. Sylvester Stallone, as always, does a great job with portraying Rambo as he is. I mentioned this earlier, it takes a while for the movie to actually get going in any significant fashion. Um, it's not a bad thing per se, like at all, that it actually can be a very good thing, but it takes John a while to get to the Ramboing, which is why I came to watch a Rambo movie. Because I wanted to see Rambo do his Rambo thing. Again, not bad, I just wish that it happened earlier. There are a couple of implications at the beginning of the film. A heavier one is that uh, John is suffering from PTSD. The thing is that doesn't really come into play at all. It's like implied and then he does a thing and then he just acts like we've known Rambo to act throughout the rest of the movies. It just, it felt a little odd to me. So one thing I actually like about this movie is that Rambo isn't invincible. John, throughout the movie, uh, actually gets hurt. There's a scene where he first, uh, like when he first encounters uh, the villains, where they basically all beat the ever-living snat out of him. And then later in the movie, he gets hurt to a degree where he's barely able to function. Unfortunately, he's still able to function enough to merc the uh, final villain, but it at least affected him for a little bit, which I actually thought was awesome. Not gonna count that as spoilers. It's a Rambo movie. You expect him to not kill the final villain. You're wrong. I don't have a ton to say about this one. It's Rambo. If you want to see Rambo, you're gonna probably go watch it. If you don't care about Rambo in any way, you're probably not. With that being said, it's still a highly entertaining film, and I would highly recommend it if you like Ram the Rambo franchise just in general, or if you like action movies a la the 80s. You know, where... The man was the man, and if you tried to beat him, you would die. Yeah, honestly, that's all I can really say about it. It's a lot of fun, greatly entertaining, highly recommend. With that being said, for me, this film rolled, I would say, a solid 16. Greatly entertaining, drags on at, in the very beginning, actually quite a bit, but once it actually gets going with the whole Rambo part that I came to watch, it's so entertaining, greatly fun. With that, I will leave you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I would like to pose a question. What is your favorite action movie from the 80s, 90s, a la Die Hard, Cobra, Beverly Hills Cop? You know, what is your favorite one of those and why? That's all I have for you today, guys. Hope you enjoy. Peace out, guys.